What's up guys, Jacob back from the Minecraft video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can now fortune iron, uh, gold and copper. But before we get into it, if you're new around here, please subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, please like the video. Comment down below if you want to, share the video if you want to do that as well. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, this is a Minecraft Java edition change. It's in the Minecraft Java snapshot, the latest one. But I know you guys are probably subscribed for the Bedrock content. But um, this is a pretty significant change to Minecraft. And uh, it will eventually come to Bedrock, so I'm not leaving you guys out. I thought I'd give you guys some important news that's going on over in Java. Uh, obviously, I can't really show footage. I don't have Java yet, um, so I can't really do that. But um, this is a very significant change. So how it's going to work is you can now mine iron um, or copper or gold. And when you mine them, it drops you, instead of the actual block itself, like the iron or gold or copper or... It drops you something called raw iron or raw gold, raw copper, obviously, uh, depending on what uh, ore you mine it from, which is like it's like a piece of iron or whatever resource you're talking about. It's not it's not an ingot, it's not a block, it's like a piece, and you have to smelt it down, and it becomes the ingot of whatever um, raw material you 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 mine you smelt from. But um, the reason this is so significant is it allows you to fortune them. So, um, obviously, iron, copper, gold, and ancient debris as well, but that's we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, they're the four resources you can't fortune, like the four main resources that you mine for you can't fortune. So it makes it quite unfair if you need large quantities of iron or gold. Um, you would have to set up a farm, like an iron farm with iron golems or a gold farm. Copper, we're not sure. Copper's a new block. It's not had an official update yet. It's just in the baits and snapshots. So copper's just like... It's like a, um, copper's relatively unknown, we don't know whether it's farmable yet, so we just know that copper, so copper, um, isn't that significant change, because we don't know, like, how copper's going to work, but with iron and gold, um, this is a huge change, because obviously iron's used for loads of tools, redstone, contraptions, everything, gold's a lot more useful after the nether update, so, um, this really is quite a big change, guys, so, um, Basically, you smelt them down so you can get up to four iron or gold or copper, raw copper, uh, from that, and then you smelt it down and you get like four ingots or whatever. So it allows you to fortune them, which finally makes it fair again because it's unfair. Believe it or not, diamonds you can fortune diamonds, but you can't fortune a very re uh, very common resource, iron. Uh, ancient debris is a bit more complicated since it's in the Nether, and this is an overworld focused update. Uh, I doubt I doubt they'll change ancient debris also because the fact that you have to get four ancient debris to ma even make another right ingot tells me that they want it to be hard to get. They want it to be rare. And I don't think they'll undo that by just letting you fortune it. Um, so I don't think they'll go with that. But yeah, I don't think they'll do that. Nether gold's another complicated one because um, nether gold already drops ingots, no um, nuggets. But it's not as much enough for an ingot, so I don't think they'll do that because you can already fortune nether gold. By the way, all these blocks will still be obtainable with silk touch, so don't worry about that. Just like how you can silk touch diamond ore right now, just like how you can silk touch most ores right now, uh, you'll be able to silk touch iron ore if you want to get the actual ore, and it'll still be smeltable. All the iron you still have, like the iron blocks, if you, no iron ore, if you got them in a chest, you can still smelt them, or that you can place them down and try and fortune them, or just mine them normally for raw iron. I think it's a better way to do it. I wouldn't recommend Silk Touch. And I think this has actually made Silk Touch a lot less valuable and improved Fortune. So um, there's a whole rivalry between do you put Silk Touch or Fortune on your pickaxe. Fortune has just gained a massive advantage over Silk Touch here. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video and you're new around here, please subscribe. If you enjoyed it, like the video, uh, share the video if you want to, comment down below if you want to as well. And yeah, hit the notification bell if you haven't so you don't miss any of my future uploads. This was just a short video, but thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.